it's time to do some spring cleaning and I also figured why hide the camera and not just show you that I'm filming this video right here right now on my iPhone using this cool new iPhone tripod that I got. What do you think? A lot of times content creators get asked how they film things by themselves and Milo just woke up from his nap. Let me just take you and be subtle about it. Hi, sweet potato. Hi, baby. to make this video tomorrow. How does that sound? I'll show you the tripod then. <laughs> Bye. Okay, we are back. And look who's here. <laughs> and also, <laughs> I wanted to finish what I started, and which is showing you this cool new iPhone tripod that I got. So I'm gonna ask Allie to film while I show you. One second. Are we rolling? Mm-hmm. Oh, this is not an ad. I found this on Amazon. I will link it for you. If I had to give it a rating, I would give it a 6 out of 10. Okay, well, let me show you. So it's this little white container. It's actually relatively heavy. I would estimate this is about 4 or 5 pounds. What do you think? Oh, Jesus, maybe more. You slide this open and lift it up. Pull this out, pull this up, screw it into place until it tightens. Now you lift this piece up and you pull. This goes up, 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 Whoa. up, up. I have to back up okay. to capture it. This goes over and this goes over. Pretend this is my phone. You know, you open this thing and snap your phone into it and you have to hope that it doesn't collapse under the weight of your phone. This being heavy actually helps. But you can shoot bird's eye view content like this. So if you had more counter space in front of you or if I wanted to do a bird's eye view of the sink, if I wanted to shoot a selfie video of myself, you know, make a TikTok or something, I could put it more level facing me like this. And this piece actually spins to be horizontal, vertical, so you could choose based on what shape video you're making. The light is controlled with these buttons, so if you hold this down, it turns on front and back lights. You could turn it this way, you could turn it this way, you know, you could lift it up and bend it, you could turn it, rotate it, angle. It honestly is not, once again, it's it's not the best thing I've ever experienced. <laughs> you are really selling this. I'm just... Wait, you know, I don't... watching this, I, I don't even I don't know get why this is in the spring cleaning video. Oh, well, I just... No, but I do want to say that actually is a pretty good tripod. I feel yeah. like you don't really sell it that nicely she's right look the, the thing is comparatively give me one second <laughs> what do you think how's her sales pitch was horrible <laughs> comparatively this is what other tripods are like this big black bulky long thing this is as small as it gets and to set it up it's like a big headache you know you gotta open it up you gotta twist three legs on each of the three tripod legs extend it but it does carry the weight of a big professional camera so you take your pick I'm not trying to sell you in either direction. I'm just trying to share my knowledge and my tools. Anyway, let's clean. So I'm gonna start by pulling everything out. I'm so excited. We're decluttering. And as I'm going, I'm gonna put stuff in like a need, don't need. Need, need. Need. A need. These are my favorite sunscreens. I got it during pregnancy because it's pregnancy safe. And now I never stop. I use every single day here. This is my nighttime thing though. This followed by this. Then during the day I use this. So the contact solution and the body lotion are too tall to fit anywhere else. I use this deodorant. I use this on acne spots. I use this on my skin. Eye cream. 
This is my face wash, but it doesn't fit on any other shelf, so I have to put it down here. Okay. This is where I have an issue, my contact lenses. I wear daily contact lenses. I used to wear the, what is it, three week ones, and I used to get eye infections all the time, so I had to switch to daily. I go through so many of these, and as you'll see down here, I just got new boxes of them, and so I just have so many contacts, and I feel like I don't have an, a proper storage solution, an easy way to grab and access them. Hey! You wanna help me organize? I was wondering if I could pee. This side is going to be my right side contact, so I'm just gonna fill it up with as many as possible of my right prescription. I'm a minus 4.0 on the left and a minus 4.75 on the right. I've been wearing glasses since middle school. I realized that I couldn't see the chalkboard in class. So I went and I got glasses and then I think I got contact lenses for everyday use in maybe ninth grade. And I thought my prescription was bad at minus 475. Michael is minus 625. We're not cutting corners here. And I can even tuck some into the sides. Okay, we're gonna now do this bottom section because I actually think I need to do the bottom section before I figure out what's going on up there. So we start by pulling everything out. <laughs> These were the pregnancy tests that told me I was pregnant with Milo. Okay, I'm gonna start organizing into stuff I need and don't need, but in the meantime, I wanted to tell you about something exciting, which is that Michael and I, Michael and I have started looking at houses outside of New York City in the suburbs. We've seen a few so far, nothing that we love and feel like is our home. The one we went to yesterday actually, I took a moment and I sat on the bed in the house. I yelled through the house, Milo, Milo, and I wanted to see if it felt like my house. I just didn't see him coming, he didn't come running. My mom described it best because my mom saw it for me first and she really knows my style and taste and, and interest and stuff. My mom said, the house is very handsome, but it's like a handsome man that you're just not attracted to. These are all extra backup contact lenses. Very useful, very important. Does anyone else feel like putting a Q-tip in your ear? It's like having an orgasm. The doctors tell you not to do it because they say you're gonna, I don't know, scratch out your eardrums, but I literally sit there twisting and twirling the Q-tip in my ear thinking this is this feels so good, oh my gosh. These were pads from when I was postpartum and I don't use pads, I just use my menstrual cup. So I think I'm gonna like do a period donation section. A couple of brands have sent me their menstrual cups recently. This is the one I used before. I obviously will have to wash it, it's very dusty. I got this kind cup that I'm gonna try. Just a little different looking. And the next one is from this company, Nixit. That looks pretty big. It looks very big and it's like a little round dot and now I've got my little period product section. And this, it's actually another cup. I try out a lot of menstrual cups to see what I like. This one's pretty cool. This is the brand Intamina. I haven't used it, so I'm keeping these all together and once I'm back on my period, I'll decide which menstrual cup is the right fit for my vagina. This is pretty much stuff I use all the time. So my blow dryer, curling iron, and my round brush, which I'll have to de-hair. I got a few mouthwashes recently that I use all the time. Heat protectant spray for my iron, my iron, dry shampoo essential. We gotta clean this out and figure out what's going back in. Please pause, see you soon. Now down here. <laughs> 
welcome to my closet that has the worst lighting I was just you've ever say. seen. Probably four times a year, I like to go through all of my clothes and just pull out things that I haven't worn in a while. And I have to exclude seasonal things. There's obviously a lot of summer things in here that I just haven't worn, but I will wear this summer. These are dresses that I have for an upcoming wedding. Very excited. Haven't worn this in a while. We donate, donate. Okay, this needs to be folded and refreshed. Can we talk about jeans for a second? After my pregnancy, I went up a whole size in jeans. And if you follow me on TikTok, you know the whole Zara debacle. I had a saga at Zara where I bought jeans that were not the right fit. And then I, it took me about a month to figure out how I could return them because I lost the receipt. I got a few comments on TikTok of people saying, you know, maybe this is your sign from the universe that you should stop shopping at Zara because it's fast fashion. I have discovered this new Google Chrome plugin that I'm gonna share with you. And I'm so grateful to say that this company, it's called United by Zero, is sponsoring this YouTube video. So thank you to United by Zero. I'm really excited to share with all of you what they do. I'm taking you to my computer and showing you how it works because it's actually really cool. Sorry for the mess in here, we're cleaning. I will record my screen to show you how it works. United by Zero is a Chrome extension. It's free. All you have to do is add it to your bookmark bar. So you'll see right now it's one of the pinned things that's on my Chrome bookmark bar. United by Zero has a team of scientists that they've pulled together to create this customized scoring system. And basically it evaluates products across a whole bunch of different data points, all under the umbrella of sustainability. So things like chemical use, water use, the supply chain transparency, and the result is they come up with this Z-score for the product. The Z-score is basically how sustainable it is, and the higher the score, the better it is to shop for that item from that retailer. The point is to target fast fashion companies, places like Zara, H&M, big places where the Z-score is questionable and you just don't know what goes into the making of those clothes and it's probably not the best for the environment. As you're shopping on select websites like that, you press on the Google Chrome plugin for United by Zero and it drops down for you a whole selection of alternative places that you can shop at that have a higher Z-score and they'll give you similar items in a similar price range that you can replace what you're about to buy with. They've actually vetted a whole bunch of sustainable fashion brands. There are companies on it like Four Days, Another Tomorrow, Ministry of Supply, Outer Known. Actually, this outfit I'm wearing now is from Outer Known. It really just makes the process of looking for sustainable alternatives to fast fashion very simple, very easy, click of a button on your Google Chrome. I'm so grateful to the company United by Zero for sponsoring this video and offering to put this in front of my audience. I try to be as smart and conscious as possible when I'm going through my daily life, but I'm human and I fall into the traps and I get sucked into the Zara jeans because it's easy and they're cheap and they're cute and it's like stylish and it's what everyone's wearing. So thank you United by Zero. I hope you all get the plug-in. I'm gonna in the description box down below put a link for you where you can check out more about this company United by Zero and you can install the plug-in right on your Chrome browser. All right, back to the closet. I clearly love matching, I clearly love matching sweatsuit sets. Time to strip the bed and do the sheets. with my pregnancy pillow on the bed. So I'm gonna put that on. So much glassware, we just hoard it all, but I don't need this many. Climbing up. Oh, just gonna make a little glass donation section. Clear this cabinet out. Okay, so. Here we are with my bare feet on the counter. Please don't come at me, please. I'll clean it afterwards. I also haven't been outside today. It's just not a big deal. Get over it. Stop looking at my feet. <laughs> the thing about glassware is that I actually do use things like this all the time. 
I love drinking from big mason jars, so I'm not clearing out any of these. It's mostly just the jars that have like something special about them. Like I don't need eight of these. We're figuring this out. Pre having a baby, when I got home from the grocery store, I would take my groceries out and I would put them into glassware in the fridge. If you remember my fridge organization video from I think 2019, I used to do that. I used to pre-chop veggies. I still do it occasionally when I'm meal prepping, but I just don't need as much glassware as I used to have for that purpose. Now I have certain glasses that I love that I really want room for, and when I have all this extra glassware, there's no room. And then, for example, <laughs> for example, my glass bubble tumbler for coffee and my iridescent tumbler with the bamboo top, both of which I sell now. So I'm gonna put a link for you in the description box for where you can get this bubble tumbler, which comes with this straw, and also this iridescent cup. Just so beautiful, I get so many questions about them and now I finally sell them. So linking it for you below, check it out. We're taking everything out and putting it all back in. Let me show you what we're working with. Teamwork makes the dream work. <gasps> Another piece I love. Sorry, this one's not in the shop yet, but like, I don't really think you guys want, I don't really think you guys want to buy a cup with my name on it, but let me know if I'm wrong. But if you do want a cup that has a coffee saying, for example, coffee time, good morning, drink, sip me, sipping pretty. Okay, I'm done. Something yeah. fell up here and now I'm scared that it's like a rodent. What do you mean? Like, I don't, I don't want to touch it because I here, can't I'll see, so start moving. No, I'll look. no. <laughs> oh my God. I'll look. Please be careful. Is it just oh, it's like not a, cat? a rodent, it's the cat. Okay. <laughs> ah, help! This shelf is kind of like my eclectic shelf. So I have a smaller mason jar for drinking. This is my favorite drinking cup. It's actually a container store jar. It's called a jar. It's called the apothecary jar from the container store, but I use it to drink. And my pickle jar. Then I think these guys won't fit here. So these can be stored up here too. We now have a fully empty shelf, just saying. I think I'll move this guy up here because I don't really know what I'm doing with that. And then my bubble tumbler is also an eclectic piece that will go here. I also have a second bubble tumbler that's in the dishwasher that will go there. That looks better. Looks great. Okay, Milo's out for a walk. Imagine he's like walking himself. He's with his nanny. So, I'm just gonna go through a few of his drawers and pull out anything that's just too small on him right now that I'm gonna set aside for future babies. Definitely too small, but this is the cutest thing ever. This is from a small business called Pip Pee Pop. This is three to six months. Milo is now wearing six to 12 months. This is definitely too tight on him as much as I love it, you but it has little ears thing. on it. Okay, I'm saving this for Mother's Day. <laughs> too tiny, but we're saving it. That's fine. This is for the beach this summer. Beach bum! Summer romper! Love. These are blankets, all good. We use all of these all the time. In a couple of weeks, we're going on our first family trip to Florida for my best friend's wedding. And so I do have some swim summer stuff for him, but here's a couple things. <laughs> this is one of those swim outfits that's like SPF. So it's like a, a little wetsuit with a matching water hat. I definitely have some too small stuff here, this sweater. This would be a crop top on Milo right now. These pants will still fit him. And it was a matching set, so I'm just gonna move the pants to the pant zone and the sweater will be for future babies. As you can see, we have this little bin. Too small. The khaki set, too much for me to handle. This will fit him for sure. This he wore for Passover and it still seems to fit him. For his Yankee first game. Yankee game. And we have this if we want to, you know, if it's cold, he can wear this version. <laughs> I could save this potentially for the fall and we'll see how it fits then. This could be cute for apple picking. 
Definitely too small. This is too small. <laughs> too small. Feels really nice to declutter what's going on because I do need to buy him more stuff. Like he doesn't have a lot of stuff for six to nine months, so it feels good. Honestly, it feels good. Too small and this is not stretchy at all, so there's no way this is gonna fit over his neck. And this is for when he's way bigger. It's really soft. Uh, I had a epiphany. This cashmere and this set, these are Banana Republic baby. Really cute stuff. This is his tracksuit for the flight. My in-laws and my sister and my sister's boyfriend will all be on the flight with us. So I can always just like pass him off and be like, whose baby is that? Definitely too small. Still cute for spring. Milo's first bathing suit, sales. Swim trunks. <laughs> this is a toucan matching set. So it has the shorts and then the long sleeve top that is SPF material. These are the pants. So let me just quickly go through this and see if any, these are definitely too small on him. Laura is taking over and making it pretty. I decided that as part of my spring cleaning refresh, I was going to do something mostly a little bit for me. These are mesh sidings. I guess some people call them bumpers on the crib. I'm preventing myself from needing to come into this room five times in the middle of the night because Milo's arms and legs continue to stick out of the crib. So apparently this is like a breathable way to prevent him from getting stuck through the bars. You know, when they wake up in the middle of the night, and they look around, it helps them kind of have like blinders on so they're not stimulated by anything else that they see going on in the room. And now that Milo sleeps on his stomach, you know, if I was just gonna imagine him being here, he's face down, and when he wakes up, he's gonna like look to the side and see nothing. That's the plan. And they look really cute, and they're very minimal, simple. Love it. Done. Big deal just happened. Chrissy Teigen posted my reel onto her Instagram account. It's a really big deal. This is Chrissy Teigen's Instagram with 37.6 million followers. And there's Lucy as a cartoon. Ah!